Greetings from the House of Representatives in Olympia, Washington. This is your State Representative Kerry Condotta with your weekly update. Well, let's start with some really good news. The ports are now reopened. There is an agreement. I know this is not a state issue and it's not something we were directly involved in, but some of us did put a lot of pressure on the governor and on the federal group to get this done. Well, they finally stepped in and have come to agreement and the goods are flowing again. This was critically important for the 12th district and I'm just sorry they didn't move earlier cost a lot of money for our folks and hopefully it's resolved for a long time to come. More good news, the revenue report came in this week. We got it moved up through a bill we passed earlier. We usually don't get that information till March. We got it now and the fact is it's up about another 154 million dollars. So we're well over three billion which gives us between eight and nine percent additional money to work with. This again will make it easier to put together a four-year balanced budget which is required under the current law and that should be coming together in the next few weeks and we'll talk more about it. Hopefully this will help us get out of here in the 105-day session. <laughs> no guarantees. One of the most fascinating meetings this week is something that I've been working on is the 502 marijuana program. My committee heads that program and is making adjustments. Well, this week the ambassadors from Germany and France came and wanted to specifically spend some time with me because the folks over there want to legalize marijuana. They are kind of beside themselves that the United States got ahead of Europe on this one and made the move. And now that they've seen Alaska and Oregon and Washington, D.C., and pretty soon we'll see California and Nevada, they're not happy with the government over there holding it as illegal. So they sent a group over, ambassadors, to look at our plan, to look at what we're doing, and to quickly try to understand how to do the same thing in Germany and France. So it's apparent not only is the rest of the United States watching, watching our program here in Washington, uh, but the rest of the world is now watching our program. So no wait there. Just got to have a better program than anybody else, and that's our goal. And we'll have some uh, new information on that next week when the omnibus bill comes out that updates that program, makes it more secure, and we'll also finally have revenue sharing for cities and counties, which is something I've been working on for several years. Well, there's lots of other legislation flowing, but more importantly, there's a lot of legislation that's not flowing. We're noticing it's extremely difficult for our majority party to move bills out of committee when there's only a one vote difference. Remember now we're 4751 in the House, which means committees for the most part only have a one vote margin and it's getting very difficult to move a lot of bills out. So a lot of the bad stuff I was kind of fired up about a week or two ago isn't out. It isn't moving out. If it does get to the floor, it's even more difficult with a 4751 to move it. So I'm feeling very good that the session's moving in the right direction. The bad stuff is kind of getting put aside. We've got good revenue reports. We've got ports open. Things are looking good here in Olympia, but that can change really fast. So we'll keep you up to date. Now we want your ideas, any, any things that you're concerned about, particularly in the budget, because that's being designed as we speak. We're spending all week in appropriations. Or if there's a specific bill coming to the floor next week that you have concerns about, contact us now. This week budget, next week on the floor. Those are the next two weeks that are very critical in this, in this uh, session. So be aware, contact us, let us know what you're thinking. If there's something you see that's concerning you, get to us right away, and we'll look forward to responding to you. This is your State Representative Kerry Condotta, maybe on the offense this time. See you next week.